food and agricultural labs regularly use gas chromatography to measure both the safety and purity of goods. If the FDA and the USDA didn't require companies to test and report their products, companies and farms would be far less inclined to produce high quality goods. Companies must prove the integrity of their product by having labs analyse the produce. Lab technicians regularly use gas chromatography or GC units to analyse the food among many other analytical instruments. These experts analyse the food for a variety of different reasons. The two largest reasons, however, are both ripeness and levels of nutrition. The first major reason GC machines are used is to measure the health and nutrients of produce. This includes measuring proteins, vitamins, amino acids, fats, additives and preservatives. Proper food analysts allows individuals to consume goods with the peace of mind that their food is in fact food and it is safe. However, just like ethylene, these numbers can change quickly over time, giving readings of nutrition in one moment of time that is no longer accurate. For example, a banana has no sugar in it when it is green, however when it starts to turn yellow it is packed full of sugar. Measuring product health is important. Without accurate checks, the end customer may end up with a product that is far below the nutrient levels that they originally believed it was. Speaking of measuring, I measure every like that this video gets. The more likes we get, the more sustainable videos like this one here get shared to more people. So before you go on, please smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. The second biggest reason we use gas chromatography is to measure ripeness levels. Overripening produce is the most significant reason for loss in the agricultural industry. Nearly 45% of all fresh produce is lost or wasted in the cool supply chain each and every year. That fruit gets thrown out, begins to rot and creates a larger carbon footprint than the entire airline industry. And that waste of this industry costs the world nearly 700 billion US dollars each and every year. To reduce this cost, GC machines have been used to identify the stages of produce ripening with inside storage. This is done by measuring ethylene. Ethylene is an organic hormone released as a gas in climatic food and vegetables that begin to ripen. By measuring micro gas releases and its increases over time, an expert can identify when the fruit will be ripened. Usually multiple samples within a large batch will be tested to find the total average. This information helps cool room operators know if they should change the temperature, oxygen levels, humidity and even introduce ethylene absorbers to slow down the ripening process according to when the produce should arrive and in what ripening state. The problem with GC testing is labs are often slow, laborious and as a result highly inaccurate. Measurements are taken by air samples and held in polyethylene containers. As ethylene is such a small compound, it can leak through these containers, making the measurement inaccurate at the time it's measured by a GC machine. When the ethylene process starts, it's exponential, and it affects all the produce around it in as little as three hours. This means an operator only has three hours to treat or separate the infected produce. Because GC units results are slow and laborious and take time to start up, reset, recalibrate and time to test, it's often too late. In addition, the majority of cool room operators send their samples away, meaning their results actually come at a lot later stage. This doesn't give enough real-time data to accurately measure the increase in ethylene and other atmospheric conditions to give an accurate ripeness prediction, rendering this process almost useless. This is why companies still rely on humans to identify the ripeness stages to this day. Although these are often invasive and inconsistent, it's far better for immediate results. This is why Post Harvest created an environmental unit, made specifically to measure ethylene down to one part per billion. This allows cool room operators to both health check 24-7 and predict ripeness up to nine months in advance. This unit is about one-tenth the price and one-tenth the size of a GC unit. It runs 24-7 in real time, allowing agricultural industry to have consistent, accurate data that they can act on immediately. This process implemented in cool rooms will mean that more produce reaches its final destination. This means less food waste, less water waste, less carbon waste, and more profit for everybody within the industry. This in turn means healthier and cheaper food for the world. For more information about the advancements in GC units and how effective this can be and how it can help our planet, check out the video we did right here with Lawrence Fishburne. And as always, if you like this video, give us that sweet blue thumb up. The more likes we get, the more videos like this get shared to more people and the more our world will become sustainable. Education is key. Hashtag stay in school. Thanks so much.